Hey everyone, Meg here from the Genius Link team. Today I'm going to walk you through how to set up A-B testing with Amazon Links in just three easy steps. The first step is to set up the test, the second is to direct traffic to your site, and the third is to measure. So let's get started. So first, you're going to want to log into your Amazon Associates account. Once you do that, Come over here to the drop down menu, click manage your tracking IDs, and here we are. So what you're going to want to do is add a tracking ID. Let's go back to the keyboard example, um, I'll just use that in the tracking ID name. So we'll do keyboard1. and I'll use selected and then I'll make a second tracking ID and we'll just call that keyboard 2 so next you'll see that your new tracking IDs are down here in the bottom so we have those. Now you're going to want to go to your Genius Link homepage and then you'll click Groups. And here we're going to add a new group. We'll call this Keyboard A B Test 1 create group. Oh, I already created that group. We'll do test three. And then we'll create another group and we'll call that keyboard A, B, test four. So next, you see that we have the two groups here. What you're going to want to do after that is you're going to want to click Default under Affiliate Settings. And here we'll add a new override. So this is for our keyboard test three. So here is where you're going to paste your tracking ID. So we'll grab our first tracking ID that we just created, copy that, and for this example I'm going to use the United States. We'll go back to the groups. You, you see we have one override for our newest group keyboard AB test 3. We're going to do the same for keyboard AB test 4, our second group that we just created. Click default. And we'll add a new override. Then we'll go back to our tracking IDs and we'll grab that second tracking ID that we just created. And we'll paste that in here. Again, we'll use the United States for this example. So now what we're going to do is go to the links tab. And here are our two landing pages that we're going to be using in this A-B test. We'll use the keyboard example again. Um, so for one page we have the search results for keyboards in Amazon. The second landing page is a specific keyboard on Amazon. So we're going to copy and then we're going to paste it to generate a new link. 
So we need to press default and we're going to assign that link to the group that we just created, that first group that we just created. We'll save that. And then after this, after you create the first link, make sure to copy your link. So I have it copied and then open up a Word document or something and paste it in there just so you have that. Okay, so now we're going to go to the second landing page. Oops. Copy that link. We'll paste the link here. Again, we're going to assign that link to the other group that we just created. So make sure you assign each of the separate links to the consecutive groups that we just had. So each link is in one, like one link is in one group, one link is in the other. And we'll save that. Okay, now make sure and copy this link. We'll paste it in here. Okay, awesome. So now what we want to do under your links right here, we'll click new. We'll do an AB split. And then we're going to go back. We're going to copy this link that we just generated. We'll paste it into here. We'll put this percentage at 50. We're going to grab the second link. Copy that. And we'll paste it into the second URL space. And we'll do 50% for that. So 50% of our traffic is going to go to this landing page and 50% of our traffic is going to go to this landing page through the click of one link. So now we're going to save that. And from here you see it generated an unknown product. This is our AB test link. So we will copy that link. This is the link that you're going to put into your content on your website. Um, and then I'll show you, I'll paste this link here. And we'll keep pasting it quite a few times because I'll show you um, how it directs to the different pages. So the first time it directed us to the landing page for just the keyboard, the specific keyboard. Let's do it again. And it takes a few times because it is splitting it up, but you'll see in a moment it'll pop up with the search results. And here we have it. So it did the specific keyboard a few times and now it just switched to the search results. We'll do it again just to see where it goes. And now we're back to the specific keyboard. So it's splitting. Every time I, I click on that link or I load that link into my browser, it's splitting my results 50-50 between both the landing pages. So now you have your A-B test set up. Then the next step is to drive traffic to your site. So wherever you post this link, um, make sure and drive traffic to it and then give it a little bit of time to gain some traction. Once it's gained some traction, step three is to measure. So when you go back into your Amazon Associates account, and you've done the A-B test, you've drove, well you set it up, you've drove traffic to your site, a lot of people have clicked on it hopefully, now you go to reports. So here in reports, you can go down to your summary and then you can do your tracking IDs and we'll unselect all. And here are the latest tracking IDs that we just created that we used for the keyboard. We'll apply those. 
And because I just created this, I don't have any traction. But when you do have traction, what it'll show when you select only two tracking IDs is the traffic between both of them and how they measured up against one another, um, leading into which landing page resulted in more, con more conversions than the other. And then you can adjust your A-B test based off those results back in the Genius Link dashboard. So you can edit that and you can edit the percentages. So let's say I saw that this first link was doing a lot better. So I'll adjust that to 80 and I'll adjust this to 20 down here. And you just keep testing from here. And that's it. That's how you set up um, A-B testing with Amazon links in three easy steps.